Well, hello everybody. This is Read Out Lost No Prep Talk. Today we're going to talk about Jeff Lutz being a No Prep King threat, rapidly moving up in points, and his big block Chevy that could win races in a world of Hemi's. Now, if I'm going to go strictly to other photo owners, please subscribe and comment, and stay tuned for a lot more videos coming all about the Street Out Lost No Prep Gangs race series and all the other Street Out Lost shows. So, Jeff Lutz and his GTO. This car is extremely fast on the street, as we've seen on America's List Season 2. He is currently sitting at number 3, right behind JJ and Ryan. And let's see where he ends up after next week's final episode. Now, on No Prep Kings, he is sitting, I believe, at number 7 in points right now, right after the brainerd race this past weekend so he is running in the grade eight and something interesting about this car is that it doesn't have a billet hemi or a billet 41x it has a cast aluminum big block chevy standard bore space 4840 and it comes out being 540 cubic inches and it has profiler cylinder heads and it's obviously boosted by twin 88 millimeter turbos now, due to the fact that it has this cast aluminum big block Chevy, he gets a 200 pound weight break from the minimum weight required for the twin turbo combos, especially the ones that run Hemi's and 41X's and bullet motors. They need to weigh 2,800 if I'm not mistaken. Now, if you run a lockup, you have to add 100 pounds. And if you're on a 36 inch, tall tire which i believe jeff lutz does run you need to weigh 2850 now since he runs this motor he gets to weigh 2650 with twin 88 millimeter turbos that is 200 pounds lighter than most of the pro charge hemi combinations running on npk like scott taylor ryan and all the other pro charge hemis that are on no prep kings so he is 200 pounds lighter than the most popular combination on NPK. And he makes more top end power because he is running turbos. So it's basically a big loophole on the no prep kings rules to run a cast big block Chevy like Jeff Lutz and like Reaper as well. Because that is a huge weight advantage. This is why this car can 330 with basically everything out there and run faster out the back than the blower and procharge cars because it's a lot lighter than the other combinations so jeff lutz is definitely a huge threat he is i mean moving up in the points really fast he had a great showing this past weekend and this gto is pretty much the only twin turbo car that's doing something in the points on npk right now